Hey, what's up there guys? Um, welcome to the next video in this little trip I'm doing to Macau. Uh, in this one, I'm just gonna give you a tour of where I'm staying. So this is my room. Um, I'm sleeping in this bed here and I have to share it with a local um, program assistant. So he is studying here. His name's Will. Uh, he's from Guangdong province, which you can actually see. Um, just over there, so those buildings in the distance, that's actually mainland China. Um, and this bit of land, the building I'm in is currently on, is actually leased from mainland China to Macau, so they could have space for this university. Um, as you'll see, it's quite big when we go outside. Um, but yeah, pretty much all of Macau is built up, pretty much, except for they have like a golf course because you know it's for rich people um so they needed some extra land to build this new campus and they just um got a deal with china to lease it off there but i mean macau is china so it probably was an easy deal to make i don't know but um so i'm technically on mainland china but i can access things like facebook youtube um i'm allowed well, actually, I can't criticize the CCP here. Um, it's technically illegal, but you'd probably, it's probably like less enforced than over there. Um, what else do we have in my room? We got like a fridge, um, some pantries, my laptop, just had some noodles before, just some other stuff here, and that's all of Will's stuff. And I'll just show you into here. So this is just like the bathroom and stuff. Nothing too exciting. Um, sometimes you see some cockroaches there, which is gross. But anyway, let's go out of my room and show you the rest of the campus. Okay, and here I am in front of my dorm building. It's just up there um the campus is really deserted today uh we're here during summer so most of the students are back home for their break um so it's pretty much just a few summer programs happening at the moment but over this way you can see is mainland china behind that fence and there's like a little guard over there um you know making sure no one jumps the border not that i would want to but um, yeah, but anyway, if we walk this way, we can sort of get a view and a scope of how big the campus is. All right, and now this area I'm in is sort of like the exact middle of the campus, so you can sort of get a scale of how big it is. I mean, it has its own river and lake system. This was all artificially built. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, there's some security guards over there. And if you look this way, that's uh, China again in the distance, those sort of tall sk skyscrapers there, that's called Zhuhai, just across the border with Macau. Then we got some of the faculty, uh, faculty buildings just in front of us, I think that's like for English and humanities. And then over this way, there is a shopping mall in the distance with like a food court and stuff. Um, And then up here is sort of like the main uh, building for the university where they have functions and stuff. And yeah, if you just look around, you just see how big it is. I don't know how many kilometers squared it is, but it's just really big. Like to walk from that end to that end would probably take at least 20 minutes if you're walking fast. Probably more like close to half an hour. So yeah, it's just really big. But anyway, we'll go up this way. I'm going to try go to 7-Eleven because I need to put money on my Macau Pass, which is like an octopus card, oyster card, that sort of thing. Snapper card. Yeah, so I will hopefully be able to show you inside there as well. Okay, there is the 7-Eleven, but unfortunately I can't get in because I don't have my campus card yet. They still need to issue me one. And there's no one around for me to like follow behind, so... I'm gonna have to go to Circle K, but that's all good because I prefer Circle K anyway. It's just farther to walk. So anyway, on to this way. We can see some more of the campus.
Oh, this is kind of cool. So here is a traditional Macanese street sign. As you see, we've got traditional Chinese and Portuguese. Um, due to the Portuguese influence, this place used to be a Portuguese colony up until 1999. Um, and they're actually having the 20, 20th anniversary of the handover later this year. Um, which I'm sad to not see because I think like Xi Jinping is coming and they're gonna have like some military parades so that would be cool to see but uh, that's not until December I think um, but yeah that's just a street sign still use Portuguese but no one really speaks it okay and now I'm getting pretty close to the shopping mall of the university that's it just there they got like a food court um, supermarket and some other things in there it's not the biggest, but it's cool that they have that on a campus. And then this is like another artificial lake they've built. And then in the distance you can see the Kotai Strip. So that's where all the casinos are. You can see uh, like Studio City, the Parisian, and you can just like, if you come this way, sort of see the Venetian. But at night that looks really cool. They like light it up real good and stuff. But onwards to Circle K. Alright, and here we are down the other end of the campus. We've got Circle K in front of us here. Actually has uh, three convenience stores on the campus. One here in the end, the 7-Eleven in the middle, and another Circle K at the other end. But um, yeah, go in here and get some supplies. Okay guys, well that's pretty much the campus tour wrapped up. I'll just show you one more thing. Um, this is like the archery range that they have, which is kind of cool. And then there's a big mountain there that's um, part of China. And here's one last sort of look at the build, uh, the campus rather. Got some new skyscrapers being built over there in Macau. But yeah, um, I hope you like this little tour. I know it was kind of short. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of the campus. Do you think it looks cool? Um, anything else you want to see here or know about the place drop it in the comments and yeah uh, catch me on the next one I don't know what the next video will be about but um, should be something interesting I might be going to Hong Kong soon um, or maybe I'll do a video about the city of Macau we'll see but I'll see you then guys catch you later